Welcome back to the Audio Ag Show. Rock on the Spirito just made us a, a healthy cheeseburger, man. Can't believe that was healthy. That was amazing. It was delicious. 4.5 grams did. of fat. These people in the kitchen. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Antonio mm. Gregos, this is good for me? <laughs> and believe me. Phenomenal. Two football players in Artie Lang liked it. There you go. Uh, so now, we, the Richie Incognito thing, what's your like gut reaction when you hear something? Is that something that happens all the time in the NFL and like us civilians just don't know about it? Or is that was something that you got surprised by? John claims it happened all the time. I mean, I was surprised by just people knowing about what happens, the going ons in the locker room. I think people That was kinda... more disturbing to you than actually what happened that people starting to know. No, you know what it is? It's just that it's a it's a very tight, small fraternity and yeah. you don't really let too many people inside our world. Right. So when all that kind of happened, I was kind of shocked. I agree with you. Didn't really understand everything that was going on. Well, that's and the And there was thing. so much hearsay. It's meant and to even be now, private. It's meant even to be now, private. I'm kind of like, I think, I still feel like I'm in the locker room because I'm kind of over it. I've heard, you know, right. you keep hearing about it and it's kind of like beating like a dead horse right now. Yeah, well, I can the imagine. thing that surprised, I think the thing that shocked everyone was that someone, Jonathan Martin, would open up the, the doors, basically. Like he would put that microscope on the locker room. He was that disturbed. When this is happening so often, you right. know, it, and it really, you know, you hear other guys, you know, during that investigation, everyone was worried, you know, what are they going to find out about, what, about exactly. what I've been doing? You could tell the coach was very, you know, the press conference he gave immediately afterwards. And I like that guy. What's the, what's the dog? Joe Philbin. Yeah, I like that guy, Philbin. Been through a lot. He had a, he had a son that died, much like uh, right. Reed, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, you got a feel for the guy at that point. He's got a lot going on, but you could tell he was, he didn't need this crap. You know, right. he, he, he made the speech he needed to make, but like what you just said, he's like, look, you know, it's a football he, atmosphere. Things are just said loosely. Yeah, yeah. You know, pretty much, I mean, you're a comic, you're great at what you oh, do, no, and you, yeah. you, you use things loosely. It's not that you mean any disrespect towards anyone that you're talking about, you're right. but it's part of your act. And when you're in That's that locker point. room, it's kind of the same type of mentality. And some guys do take it personal, but the guys that don't take it personal are usually the guys that stay in that core group of guys yeah, that yeah. are there for expen ext extended periods of time. Well, it's just but like it's kind of like, that's kind of how you grow. It's like, if I have a little brother right. and there's a bully down the street, I make sure I toughen my brother up so when the bully comes down here, we're both jacking up the bully, <laughs> not being bullied. Well, so it's kind of right. like that kind of situation. Yeah. I mean, last time we were in here, remember we talked about... Uh, the TV Bochette. show is the... Yeah, yeah Bochetti. I, I love What's it. What's the name of the bully show? Uh, Tubby Man. Yeah, Tubby That's Man. That's right, Tubby Man. <laughs> it's a good concept. The problem is... Martin, just... Martin needed Tubby Man. <laughs> no, no, you no. should do an episode with him. What about that? That's a great idea. Yeah. You, you, the guy needed to, on Dolphins needed Tubby Man. Yeah, but that guy's a big guy. Uh, he should, he could wreck the place. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Mike, like, but that's well, not the didn't. point. Antonio's saying he needed. He he's needed a sensitive be, guy. I know, but what, what happened to him? You, I thought he'd like wreck, you, wreck somebody's head in. You know you what I mean? You've proven yourself to be an insensitive clod. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm the thing is, Antonio, what Antonio's you know, trying to tell you, the point is, he was a big guy, but still he's sensitive and still needed somebody. Wow. It's always the crazy guy you got to be the most afraid of. Uh, if, if there's two guys who want to fight in the playground, and one guy is tiny, but he's a maniac who'll hit you with a pipe, and another big guy, but he's sensible, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like the United States and Iraq. <laughs> you know, sure. Iraq is that little guy who'll hit you with a pipe or or shoot you or kidnap your kid or something. And we're the big guy who's sensible, you know? Yeah. And But sometimes the only language people listen to are, you know, hitting you with a pipe. Like John told me, we were drinking one night, and he said, my God, if I had a dime for every time he said the N-word uh, <laughs> in the Raider locker room, he'd be a rich man right now. But, uh, he was incognito before. Uh, yeah. Incognito. John Richie Incognito, that's what we call him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding, of course. Never the N-word. Uh, yeah. What the, now, but see, I think my theory, without the N word, it's not even a story. It's not even a story. That, but that took it to another level. And again, it, political well, correctness. If it, was like, if it was a smaller guy, it's not a story. I think it's also That's true a too. story because he's 6'4, 320. He looks like a maniac. Looks Big like a biker, guy, yeah. And you got, oh, no, I'm talking about incognito. No, no, I'm saying then yeah. you got incognito and you look right. at him and he looks like a, a big, tough, Cabbage Patch Kid. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. A big, so, tough Cabbage Patch Kid. It's yeah. kind of like now you have, then you have the whole black, white thing. Right, that enters you know, into it. And then, you you know, have the yeah. bad guy from college, 
the educated guy from college, and it's kind of... So yeah, because it makes a perfect story for everybody. Martin, you're right. It's Look, got all the elements. It's been, it's been what about six weeks yeah. plus, yeah. and we're still talking about it. It's yeah. got all. It's got all the elements, right? Martin's yeah, like an intellectual, Martin. You know, right. and they're paying uh, Richie Incognito now. They have to. The, well, they suspended him indefinitely, but the without union, pay. Without pay, the you, union said for conduct unbecoming what the, your your team, you can only be suspended for four weeks. Right. Okay. So after four weeks, they had another hearing and decided that they would pay Richie Incognito. So now he's getting paid okay. for being suspended. He's mm. getting paid to just hang out. Yeah, but it goes right back now. to because it's just like a perfect storm. It, to have him on the team, it kind of all the stuff that we're joking around about and we're kind of poking fun at from the outside, people looking in that aren't athletes, people yeah. that aren't in the industry now looking at it and it's. If you let them in, then you got to deal with the backlash. That's why I'm comfortable talking to you guys, because yeah. I'm an athlete, obviously, and I... <laughs> I, uh, I coming, coming from Rawway, <laughs> you're the guy. I'm union, man. You're a county legend right here. You know? I'm a union guy. Of course, uh -huh. Rawway, you were scared of us. Right. <laughs> on the field, on the, throw on the street, we were thrown. <laughs> I told you, when I was a kid, I was, I was on St. George Avenue, riding on the back of UPS trucks. I had a cousin who lived in Rawway. So. Yeah. <laughs> in his hometown, he used to get on the, the back of UPS trucks. We used to ride down this busy street. Fun. That's a little bit of a crazy kid. Like, yeah. How would you have handled that as Tubby Man? Uh, give us a say. An NFL team needs Tubby. This could be a full episode, Mike. I, well, you know, he's a big guy, but usually big guys aren't bullies. Like, like you said, it's Napoleons that are bullies. No, I, well, I, I've seen a lot of big guys in history well, that are bullies too. Though. Yeah, but I, to, I, I met all the big guys I met were never like looking for stuff with people. You know what I mean? Could there be a more articulate answer? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, for six weeks we've been arguing back and forth, and what he just said makes total sense. Complete sense. Mm -hmm. Antonio, right? I think you should definitely do an episode with it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the thing. Real tough guys don't have to show their toughness. How about an episode where you promise a friend uh, an $87 jacket? Okay. <laughs> It'll be here tomorrow. I'm picking it up at 11 or 12. You see the jacket he's wearing? It's from I the... Do. The big and the uh, uh, nauseating guy shot. <laughs> and, leather like. Uh, yeah, and he told me it's leather like. <laughs> yeah. That's what it, and the description says leather like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you know, for for Tubby man, I think you could get Richie Incognito. He's not doing. He needs anything Oh God, right I don't now. want to work with him. I don't like. He needs, I don't really. Listen, know. maybe yeah, but he's maybe the real you can deal. redeem his image and uh, you can reform him. No, for no, an episode. I, yeah, that's I definitely not, think we're I mean, on to something right here. Right. Yes. And that's not no a question. That's and believe me, that's not a, that's a very unique standpoint wanting to help Richie Yeah. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, so you, you, you're probably not getting a lot of calls. Right. Right. I don't know. I don't want to help. The guy who's been kicked off of every team he's ever played on. Well, he, he definitely mm -hmm. has a behavior problem. College you know and I mean? NFL. Some kind of, uh, there's definitely mental deficiency with him, I'm sure. Oh, and that's coming from Mike. <laughs> And then, yeah. the, and then the Bichetti mother coughs up a milk of substance. <laughs> He's definitely a sociopath. A sociopath. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I think Antonio just gave you a gold mine. Just laid it right in your lap. I'm I'm, I'm, how can we get these guys, though? I don't know. I don't know. Call them. I don't know. <laughs> Say, uh, listen, Richie, it's, uh, it's Mike Bochetti from Staten Island. <laughs> you want to be on an episode of Tubby Man? Are you currently shooting? Uh, no, not till after New Year. Oh, so you're on, a hi on hiatus? Yeah, we got a couple. So, no, Mike has a grueling one episode every no, three we got years. No, we got another episode coming out 12-12. Uh, really? Yeah. 12-12? Uh, December 12th? Yeah. What is, how many episodes have you done? Uh, we have like three, and we're probably going to shoot a few more, see what happens. And how long did it take you to do three? It took a while. How uh, long? Maybe months, because we had edited and stuff. You know what I smell, Mike? Syndication. Mm. Me too. I hope so. I hope to have like some sick money and have. No, no, Mike. If you get syndication, you're only 98 yeah. episodes away from syndication. I know. Which, at the pace you're doing it, you're looking at another. I'll be 85 eight, years old. Oh, 80, about 82 years, you could have Seinfeld. <laughs> Antonio, did you uh, watch the Jets this weekend? Yeah. What about I that? Uh, what is going? I, do they have to go and and draft another quarterback this year? <laughs> I, is, is that would it, be awkward. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It would I, I, be has awkward. it come to that? I mean, is, is Geno Smith that bad? Has he regressed enough to where he's unsal <laughs> unsalvageable as an NFL quarterback? That's, it's only in the Jets I mean, organization. 
it's tough. I mean, I like the kid. You know, I thought he was a good kid. I mean, I still think he has the opportunity to was be a good quarterback. Was he rushed? But I think that it was just a combination of things. I think the guy that should have been the starting quarterback is unavailable they, right they now. They hurt in the fourth quarter of a preseason game. Right. But oh, who's that? You're talking just, about Sanchez. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, I still believe that. You know, so I, they made I have a they lot of respect for Mark. by putting Mark in in the fourth quarter in a preseason game. Yeah. You know, I think I we think all, that, I we think can it's all been, agree I there. think his last couple of years just been tough as far as uh, maturing him as a starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, by bringing Tebow in, doing stuff like that, really didn't help with his progression. Yeah. And it kind of slowed wise, it a little bit. Yeah. Right. You know, and then being in New York, uh, facial expressions, how you look, because they don't hear the quarterback. They just kind of see your reactions. And Mark's just a Cali kid. That's that's his that's his makeup. That's what he does. Yeah. So New Yorkers kind of see it. And I kind of think that for the most part they played it in a negative light for him. Yeah. And I think the kid has all the ability in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, whether his career continues here as a Jet or goes elsewhere, I still think it's real promising. But I still believe that's the guy that should have been the guy for him this year. He would have helped them win more games than they wouldn't have went one and one, and now they're on a three-game yeah. losing streak. Well, so. it's, a, it's a long season. We, we got to, well, unfortunately, we got to go. But you're right. I mean, that, that's a that's a a good statement to make, and I don't know if people have the the guts to say that. It should, you know, they made a mistake. But yeah, uh, listen, uh, Geno Smith. Everyone loved them in the beginning, and it's a long season and now, not so much. But uh, we got to say goodbye. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh. Thank you. Uh, happy, yeah, birthday. happy birthday, Thank buddy. Yeah. Mike, appreciate please. it, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry, no, sorry. my man. <laughs> Tubby Man says happy birthday. Come yeah. back anytime, brother. Definitely appreciate it. The great Antonio Garay, and we'll be back to talk more with Rocco after these words. Thanks. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.